Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shabana Lynn. Just in case you didn't know, now you do. Go ahead, click that subscribe button and join the family boo. So, I went to Sephora, sis, that be stealing every last coin that I have. And I got ah! the Fox Filter Skin Finish Beautiful Coverage Foundation Stick from Huda Beauty. Ooh, I've been waiting for something new to drop from Huda Beauty because honestly, I feel like I don't really go nowhere anymore. And so I haven't really been wearing foundation like that. But I've been wanting to try something new for a while, and boom, here you go. So, first of all, first of all, before I start talking about anything else, can we talk about the packaging? Oh, God. When does Huda not ever do their packaging to perfection? Do you see this? Uh, let me take this little gloss cover off, because it's like gloss, kind of. But, like, it's gloss and matte. But do y'all see this? Do, do you see this? Okay. like it's the matte for me this foundation is a lightweight foundation that glides on easily we'll see about that providing customizable coverage with a natural looking skin like finish hm. i hope it's so i don't think it's full coverage okay so it says full to light coverage so i'm guessing you just had to build to the coverage that you want it says that it's for a dry normal combination and oily skin so basically every skin type and it also says this product is cruelty free fragrance free transfer proof waterproof humidity and sweat resistance um and it melts into the skin for a natural filtered finish whether you prefer full or light coverage this versatile formula will let you be the master of your complexion swipe it on set it and forget it the rest of the day Woo! Well, well, Huda, we finna see. Okay, guys, so I got mine in the shade Brown Sugar. So that's 410G. And I already kind of primed my, my face, made sure it was clean, moisturized, and put on... What am I trying to say? Put on primer. Woo! Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh, y'all, I'm a little scared. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Okay. Oh, that do go on easy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I really actually need to exfoliate because this does go on it y'all this it's just a uh, it's just a glide okay well she did not lie it goes on real nice I didn't use that much y'all saw how much I used but I still feel like this is a decent amount of coverage like and the fact that it's blendable makes me so happy hmm. and there really is no fragrance I don't smell a thing I like that it's not I mean I like the the whole non liquid thing it's doing it for me. I like this, y'all. Huda girl. Huda. Come on now. You didn't have to snap like this. Like, girl. She trying to get us addicted, y'all. Hey, lucky one. You don't miss. Okay, ladies. So this is the first layer of foundation. And it looks really cute to me. I feel like you can't even tell like that I actually have something on. And <laughs> she really did her dance with this. She did her dance. I just like how smooth it goes on because 
sometimes, you know, you be having to, mm, mm, mm. and I don't know, like, I don't really, that's why I don't like, uh, that's exactly why I don't really like stick foundations, because I feel like they be, they be dry or something, and this is really not dry at all. When she said glides on, baby, it glides, okay? Uh, did you see that? One more time for me. Uh, okay, over here. Uh, one more again. Uh, girl, put some on my nose too. I think I forgot that the first time. But this is making me really happy. Okay. I definitely can see what she means by it melts into the skin. Cause baby, you can't even tell that it's there. Okay. How, how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling about this coverage so far? I think it's cute. Okay, cute. So guys, that was my first impression of this product. Now I'm going to wear it all day. And you know, since we have to wear a mask and things like that, we're gonna test the transfer proofness, transfer resistance. We're gonna say transfer resistance. And I will let y'all know, I will come back at the end of the day and let y'all know how it went. Okay y'all, so I'm done doing my makeup and right now it is 1.40. And I'm just going to go about the rest of my day. I don't really have much to do today. So it won't really be a lot of, I probably won't be sweating a lot. But I'm going to um, just try to make sure like when I, when I wear a mask, I'm going to show y'all and see if it comes off in the mask. That's like probably my biggest thing because it says it's transfer resistant. I don't know about that, but um, we gonna see. And sorry about this ugly background. Um, I'm in like, I have like this little room in my house where it's like nothing but windows, basically. It's just like, it's like, it's just like five windows. So the background isn't all that cute. The background is kind of ugly, but the lighting, baby, the lighting is on point. So actually, I think I might start recording here more often because do you see it? I don't know what that is but yeah okay guys so i will be back probably actually i'll do a check-in i was gonna say i'll be back around six seven but i'm gonna do a check-in in between to let y'all know how it's going because y'all know i'm an oily girl and i get oily so we're gonna see how that does also and yeah okay guys so i'm in the car sorry i couldn't like i didn't have nothing to set the phone up on but i just did a slight test um so i didn't want to mess up my makeup so I didn't put on a, t a mask that was super tight. So I put on this white one so you could actually see how much came off. And most of it that came off was my lipstick. Well, my lip gloss. So it doesn't look like um, that much transferred. I mean, I feel like I should have did like more of a test, like a mask that was kind of like more suppressing on the face. But I didn't want to mess up my makeup. So sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. But so that was a transfer test. I know I'm gonna have to do another one with a tighter mask. It is now 3.05, so I, I don't remember what time I started this. I think it was like one something, like 1.30 or something like that. But it hasn't been that long. It's been what, like an hour and a half. So, of course, we still looking decent. We not looking oily or nothing like that. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It has been about a good 12 hours. Uh, it's 1.45 in the morning the next day. So, um, as you can see, I didn't do anything to it. I am greasy as hell. I'm greasy, shiny, just everywhere. So, just gonna...
just going to dab it. Try to get some of the oil off. Okay, y'all, so maybe, maybe I wore it a little bit too long. Maybe I should have tested it after like eight to 10 hours. I probably shouldn't have tested it that long, but the coverage, the coverage still look decent. I'm not gonna lie, I ain't gonna even hold y'all. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna do a second wear test just because I let the other one go a little bit too long and I didn't want it to go that long. So again, it's it's okay. It's 150. I feel like that's dang near the exact same time I started recording the other wear test. But this time, I really am gonna come back at like eight. I don't think the makeup claimed to be able to last 12 hours. I think it was 10. So we're going to see just how long it how it wears, how it holds. We will be back, y'all. Know I'm oily, so we gonna see how greasy I get. All right, bye, y'all. Okay, guys. So besides me looking a little oily, little greasy, little shiny. I feel like the makeup did a pretty good job with holding up. And we already know how it looks after about 12 hours, which is about double the time that it's been on right now. So I would say for the transferability of it all, I think it did a pretty decent job. I've worn makeup where way more came off in the mask than what came off in the mask with this. And you can actually tell that it came off my face. I still wouldn't necessarily trust it to like hug a tall guy and just be like laying all up on him and stuff because you know especially if he got on a white shirt baby it's over uh, so just be careful with that because it still is makeup and no matter how transfer proof you try to make it I feel like it'll still transfer either way so good job Huda okay Huda never fails us when did she ever fail us never Okay, that's when. But, so that's just about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and making it to the end of this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, boo. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!